Okay, how we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambient Light Rejection Technology Gain. I had to do this video again because something came up that was very sensitive in the video and I had to delete the uh, video altogether. So I'm back again trying to get this video recorded. So what I want to show you on a much larger scale is to show you how much the contrast that you're not getting from your projection screen, that you're not getting from your projector, is affecting your picture quality. Now, usually when it comes to light gray screens, when it comes to white screens, even a dark gray screen, you will not have the ability to pull true contrast over. You're gonna get a fake gray or a light gray or whatever it may be, but it's not going to be true black. And like I said, if you're not gonna have, you don't have that ability to, to be able to achieve those true black levels, then the problem you're gonna have is your screen is going to suffer even in a dark environment, it doesn't make a difference. You're still not going to be able to pull up real contrast. Now, uh, the projector I'm using over here is my NEC short throw projector. I got that for around $125 over on eBay by a fantastic merchant. Thank you so much for the wonderful projector. And, and with this projector, I think it has a 2000 to one contrast ratio. So not a lot, but as you can see, it looks absolutely incredible on our screen. So I'm doing this demonstration of some outer space with some color involved in it, stars and so forth. And as I said before, not only does our screen paint, of course, has the ability to pull up contrast, but it has one of the highest white levels when it comes to matching against other black screens. I will post those links at the bottom so you can check them out for yourself. I just want to walk around here for a minute so you can see this is my screen at 160 inches. I think this screen right here, when I get done, I'm going to build this all this whole entire screen. It's going to be all black. But for right now, I'm actually overlapping the screen in the middle. Now, the screen in the middle, of course, is coated with our Supreme 8 uh, True Ambient Light Rejection screen paint. The outside screen is actually, actually outside is just the wall. Now, this screen, excuse me, is going to be seven feet high and 13 and five inches wide. The screen in the middle is a 169 screen. And I thought the best way to show you exactly how much contrast that you're losing from your projector and screen is to show you on the largest scale possible by doing a 160 inch overlapping a 100 inch screen. Just look at this. Now this background is supposed to be black not um uh, not a grayish white or whatever and this is the color that you're getting from your screen if you're using a white screen and because you think that you're sitting in the dark you're thinking oh you know i'm going to be to pull better contrast levels so i'm sitting in the dark that is not so you cannot pull contrast from your screen or your projector because it is not black so this is the best way i can show it to you on a much much larger scale show you exactly what you're missing and your um your, in your picture quality all right so let's do the star field demonstration and even with the lights out on a star field demonstration you'll see we just are not achieving black levels Thought I'd do this with the lights out just to give you an understanding on what you're losing from your screen. And what better way to do it on a screen that's overlapping at 160 inches? All right. All right, let's come back here and let's pull up our Another demonstration right here I want to show you. Now, light gray screen isn't much different different from a white screen. It really isn't much of a difference. It's just a white, uh, a light gray screen is just gonna give you just a little bit of contrast. Nothing near black levels. And a dark gray is just gonna be a little bit darker, but on a dark gray screen, you're gonna lose a tremendous amount of white levels, but also on top of that, 
it does not have the ability to produce contrast. Now keep in mind, when we had our titanium black silver, I said it many times in the demonstrations that that screen will never have the ability to be able to match the contrast levels of a black screen. And look how high the white levels are on our technology. Okay, let's go over and get ourselves a the LG. And once the screen is done, it'll be at 160 inches when it's all filled out. All right, now I thought I'd just stick the 100 inch in the middle just to show you exactly what you're missing from your screen, even in a dark environment. And look how the color pops on the fish once it hits our black screen. As the ability to produce amazing white levels, especially with a screen that's black. And some people may say that you're getting a brighter image. No, you're actually getting a washed out image. That's what you get when you deal with a white screen or a light gray screen. You're getting a washed out image. Do a little mountain scenery. Got a color pops. And we'll do the fireplace. There you go. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'm Kenneth Burr from Luminous 4K Screen Paint using ambient light projection technology. Again, showing you what you are missing on a much larger scale when it comes to your home theater setup. I'd like to thank you all for your time. I gotta go and God bless.